56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, the Lord gave me a word, and I've uh, read over it multiple times. Just to well done, good and faithful servant. Now I know this is one of mine because one, that is me. Two, I've taken this walk, and this is what happens when you return to your first love. In her case, remain with your first love and you are carrying your cross. I've been in hotels. I've given these words. I'm giving this word through her. I'm sure it is exactly how he wants it said. Um, I also spent a lot of time after this word um, just asking him to confirm it for me to make sure that there is nothing that needs to be changed, that there was nothing that was not coming from him. Um, that being said, I would encourage you, as always, the Bible says, test every spirit. Do not take my word for it, but get in your word um, or in your own personal prayer time and ask the Lord to confirm or deny what you heard today. Um, the Lord wants me to title this, Is the Blood on Your Door? And this is what he said. Have you put your faith in me? Have you confessed with your mouth that I am Lord and believed in your heart what you profess? Why do you call me Lord and not do what I say? Why are there accursed objects in your home? Objects to protect you and keep evil out. Tell me, dear ones, how does that honor me? Why do you practice the things I hate? My word is to train you in righteousness, not make you better sinners. Must you treat my grace as common? My grace is no such thing. My grace is sufficient for your insufficiency. My grace is power personified. My grace is the spirit that gives you life and peace. My grace is my only begotten son, Jesus Christ. You honor him with your lips, but your hearts are far from him. Your worship is a farce. Who are you worshiping? I don't even know you. You polish the outside of the cup, taking great care of the exterior while the inside is foul, filthy, and defiled. Man looks at the outward appearance, but I look at the heart. Where is the love? in yours, the love for your neighbor, the honor for your parents. Where is your love for me? You speak such empty words, professing a love that is not at all evident by your conduct. If you loved me, you would obey my commands. If you loved me, you would cease your lies, your slander, your gossip, and your prideful ways. You cannot love me and love the things of this world. You cannot join my temple with idols. Love for the world is enmity with me. You are a slave to whoever you obey. I said to be sober and watchful. I said to pray so that so you don't enter into temptation, not consume so much alcohol that you walk around in a drunken stupor. I created marriage to be a sacred union and many of you have broken that covenant as if it meant nothing. Many of you break your covenant with me. You have become a faithless wife, committing adultery against me, defiling your marriage bed, trampling all over my grace, and your vows. I have loved you with an everlasting love, but your love fades like the morning mist. Here one day and gone the next. Have I no right to do what I please with what I have created? You curse me for the consequences of your own rebellion. I am a just God. Although there is lawlessness in your courtrooms, there is justice and righteousness in mine. I am not partial. You reap what you sow. Those who reap to the flesh reap death. Those who reap to the spirit reap eternal life. I am a just God. If a judge is just, would he just let a criminal go free? 
even though the evidence points to their guilt? Why do you only want justice for everyone else and not yourselves? What kind of justice is that? I judge in just measures according to your deeds. Do not despise my chastisement. It is for your good that I do these things. Otherwise, you would never turn to me and let me heal you. If I do not break your pride, you would never seek me or admit your guilt. You would continue to justify your sin and make allowances for your unrighteousness instead of letting me cleanse you of it. Is the blood on your door? Will my wrath pass by your house? Do you know me? Do I know you? Are you obeying my commands? Are you honoring me in the way that you live? Are you seeking the will of my father? Are you abiding in me? Is the blood on your door? Will my wrath pass over? Did you come out from among them and touch not the unclean thing? Is my joy your strength? Have you entered into my rest? Are you taking no part in the unfruitful works of darkness? Or are you getting dressed up this year to celebrate them? Those who do these things will taste my wrath swiftly. You have been warned. You cannot call yourself mine and celebrate death, destruction, torment, and fear. If you do, the blood is not on your door, and my wrath will not pass you by, says the Lord of hosts. 